Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom header with a transparent background and a sticky effect that changes background color when you scroll without the use of any line of CSS code or additional plugin. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to achieve something that looks like this. So as you can see here, our header here is transparent, but when we start scrolling down, it changes color to what we have now. And then we'll go back to the top it's going to become transparent. Without further delay, let's dive in and get started. So you can see on our home page, you can see that this is the header we have. This is not looking nice. So what we're going to do, we're going to create our own header from scratch using the Elemental Team Builder. So we just come over to our dashboard and then we'll, under the template, we'll click on the Team Builder. We're going to open it on another tab. Okay, now this is the header section. So we're just going to click on this plus icon here and then allow for it to load. So I'm just going to close this real quick and then we're going to create our own custom header from scratch. A simple and basic header. So we just demonstrate the main purpose of this video, which is to show you how to create a sticky header that changes background color on scroll. Okay, so we're just going to click on this plus icon select this and then we're going to select the structure here okay now for the structure we're going to come over here and set the content width to full width and then we're going to go over to the advanced settings and for the padding we're going to set it this way and then we're going to give it to the top we're going to set it then we're going to give it a value of 10 and then to the bottom 10 and then to the top 10 okay so we'll go to the style option and then we're going to give it a background color. Now the background color could be anything you want, any kind of color you want, but I'm just going to make it black for the purpose of this tutorial. All right. So this is where we're going to add our logo and then this is where we're going to add our menu and this is where we're going to add our button. So let's add those real quick. So I'm going to come over here. You can either select this site logo, drag it and drop it here or we're going to use an image. So I, I'm just going to delete this and make use of an image. So I'm just going to drag and drop this over here. And then I'm going to select the logo. So search for logo. All right. I'm going to add this logo here. Go to the style option. Give it a mass width of 60%. Okay. And then for the container, I'm going to come over here. Justify content to the center. All right. So the next is I'm going to come here. Drag this WordPress menu. Drop it over here for the uh, container. I'm going to add just five content to the center. And then for the item here, I'm going to align item to the center. Okay. So I'm going to edit this menu. Come over to the style option, typography. We're going to increase the typography to like 18 pixel. And then for the font color, we're going to give it a color of white. Okay. Then here, we're going to drag and drop a button there. This and then for the container, just like we've done before, we're going to just fire content to the center, align item to the center. Okay, now I'm going to tweak this uh, button a little bit. So, first, I'm going to change the text to contact us, and then for the style, I'll just come over here, give it a background color, somewhat gold like. Okay. And then I think we're done with that. So our, our logo looks nice. Uh, sorry, our header looks nice. Okay. So let's publish this and then let's add conditions. Let's set this to entire site and then let's click on save and close. Now, if we should go back to our homepage and refresh, this is going to go out and then the, the header we've created, the custom header we've created is going to display. So let's just refresh it. Okay, you can see this is what we'll have here now. So the next thing we're going to do here is uh, we're just going to make this transparent and then when we scroll, it's going to be sticky and it's going to display this color here. So to do so, we'll go back here to our header and then we're going to edit this container here and then we'll go to the advanced settings and then we'll come down here to the motion effect and we're going to come over to the sticky and uh, we're going to set it sticky to the top. So now that we've done that, we're going to go back to the style option and then for the style, we're going to come here and then under where we see the scrolling effect, we're going to toggle this to on and we'll come over to the transparency. We're going to select this, leave the direction to fade in and then we're going to leave it at 10. Now for the viewport, we're going to drag it this way 
At the bottom, we're going to set it to 0%, and then for the top, we're going to drag it to, let's say, 11%. Okay? And then uh, we're going to come over to Effect Relative to, we're going to set it to Entire Page. Okay, you can see now it's already transparent. Okay? So now let's come over here and update this. And when you scroll, our effect is already taking place here. All right. So now let's go back to our home. So if we should refresh it, you can see this is what we get. Now, the reason why this is showing this way is we need to go back here. And then for this uh, container here, we'll go back to the advanced settings. And then we'll come down here to the Z index. I'm going to give it a Z index of 5. And then we're going to update this. Uh, then we're going to come over here to the margin. We're going to come here and link this. And for the bottom, we're going to give it a margin of negative 160. And then let's update this. Okay, now we'll go back here and we'll refresh this. And this is it. We successfully created this transparent header. And then the changes color where we scroll. This looks beautiful. We have done this successfully without the use of any line of CSS or additional plugin. Okay. And so we've come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you're new to our channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. Well, until then, see you on our next video. Bye bye.